Yeah, today we want to, uh, to teach you how to pay various debt in your company. Starting with the, about how you can pay employees, how you can pay bills, various bills, for example, electricity bill, water rates, and you have uh, house rent, among other bills. In this case, because those are some of the bills you have to bear in mind that you have to pay for them. You can see here our account balances how indicate we have a cooperative bank uh, account for such encourage we have the equity bank and we have the petty cash you can see the current balance as you can see there the each and every amount you can see then once you pay you expect to see a different amount reducing because you are paying bills let's see there now you require to go to to when you are paying bills you require to go to the writing checks uh, the most efficient one right check for those different uh, bills or uh, paying employees just click there and you can see you can write checks for expensive that you the expenses that you have uh, you have or not uh, in this case it means uh, in this case uh, you, the checks that you are writing there uh, for these bills you require to just click write checks also click write checks uh, then here we have now the employees for example you can choose one of the employee by the name George Acheng you can choose George Acheng or Edina Mora in this case I need to pay uh, George uh, Amolo Acheng uh, just click there and now you see the information about that person uh, the date of payment here you can just try to address to adjust for example I'm paying for the March salary which is now on 30th, end of the month. Just click there, choose the date of the end of the month, and uh, the amount for George, who is a tutor, it was 35,000. You require to remind, remember that one, or you can just look at the uh, edit uh, or the employee center. You can have see the amount there. The moment you indicate that amount, automatically you tell you that amount in form of words, because I check, you see now it is 30,000 in form of words. In this case, we have the account number for that employee, and we have the, the this amount. You have to put the account. In this account, you require to look for the payroll expense uh, in this case. But in case you don't see the payroll expense, what you need to do, QuickBooks allow you to customize and add or fill that uh, you require to add when you are, the record are not appearing. So I need to come and click add new as you click add new you can have the income and expense my point is about the expense I just click uh, continue once you click continue you see now there you have the account name which is now account name here is payroll you can just put payroll expense then uh, you can describe it here for employee payments employee payments employee payments once you put about the employee payments now you can click in case you want to have a VAT code here you can just put taxable automatically you can just put taxable because the employees should be taxed for this and then you click save and close as you put save and close you'll be in a position now to see that uh, record for the for the payroll and which is VAT taxed so it means if the salary is 35,000 uh, this person will get a salary of 30,172.41 after deduction of the tax of this amount this is the 16 percent of this amount here as you can see they have already tracked the VAT which is now that amount whereby you add the VAT per this salary uh, the next salary you get will be assumed to get now the basic salary which is the gross salary which is now that five thousand in this case we have um amount in good vat is already there and that is how you click save a new if you want to add a new employee uh, or to, uh, to pay something different just click save a new then you see the information just click yes and in this case the employees have been paid let's pay now another bill as you can see this is the equity bank, such a courage, and you have the current, uh, the heading balance here is 246,300. 
let me pay now another bill and see how its amount will react in this case you can pay another employee or you pay another different bill for example i need to pay a house rent we have the pride real estate is a is our agent in this case and now we put the this date of payment i'm paying now a house whereby i'm paying on fifth uh, on date fifth so let me just put fifth of the march then after putting the date then i pay the house rent house rent here i can just put for example it is a uh, ten thousand uh, ten thousand then once you put a uh, payment which is now ten thousand you can see it is form of tax uh, it is four words and now you have the, the information there then you click amount uh, sorry then you put the account uh, pardon please uh, then you can see we have the account expense this account expense you require to scroll and look the expense which is related to the to that one and as you can see we have variety of them those expenses uh, in this case you require to look uh, expense which relate with that uh, without about the rent or rates the the rent rates or, or like for example you have this one which is there which is the rent and rates is uh, you can choose that one and because should be even taxed also you can see now when you pay ten thousand the owner you receive eight thousand six twenty point six nine and you have the other amount for the VAT which is that amount which is sixteen percent as you can see now our bank uh, amount which is still the same but let me now still click and save a, a new once you click save a new and you click uh, yes you can see now the amount have reduced to from 246 to 236,300 let me pay another bill for example I need to pay now electricity bill so I need to use the same same bank I need to use the same same bank to pay then I choose now the pay in order of I require to look this information here but I don't see the the information I do need I require to click add new once you click add new you get a supplier we have the customer we have employees but in this case I can put other and click OK once you put OK you can now add the information about K uh, Kenya Power and Lighting Company which is now the main supplier in Kenya a uh, lighting company uh, is the main supplier of uh, uh, of the power in short is called kplc that is the name uh, in abbreviated uh, you can put uh, this information just so you know because it will depend if you can put the name of the director there is uh, mr uh, then you can put uh, the first name which is now you can put for example bernard uh, uh, k uh, for example kuru in this case or you can put uh, another name any name there uh, for example that is the, that is the name there then you put now the information there you can see is that uh, the supplier uh, then you can put the PO box uh, for that one and you put uh, once you are through with the addresses there now you can choose the you can put the phone number and uh, just click OK you put the mobile number or phone number or the number in the for the office uh, which is now that one like there then you can put the email address it's very crucial uh, you can put the email address as uh, info at uh, k okay you, go, you can put for example bill uh, bills at kplc the co dot ke uh, you can put like that one and put now the account number whereby you can put that kind of account number that is how you feed the information about it you add another new uh, person who is a supplier of that 
uh, you require to pay. In this case, click OK. And now you see the information for that. Uh, Kenya Power and Lighting Company. And now you can put the amount you are paying, which is, for example, I'm paying uh, 35700 for example, as a that's a, that is a that is the that's seven uh, three thousand seven hundred, and you can see that amount is uh, three thousand seven hundred, and now you can pull the what uh, the the electricity expense which relate with that. So just try to scroll them as you look the expense the relating with that. We have the gas and you have the gas and electric. So the gas and electric, you can just click gas and electric. That's the one which relate with that one. And now you can put the hot, the VAT also. You've got to put the VAT either by the amount, and that is how you can pay various bill. You can pay those various bills. As you can see, we have paid employees. We have paid. Uh, we have paid house rent and we have paid Kenya Power and Lighting Company for uh, supplying of for those bills, among other bills, because you have many bills you can still attend. Uh, though, uh, for example, like for, for the business permit, uh, you can still pay the same uh, for the business permit or other employees. You can keep adding those bills. That's how you can pay those different bills among others there are many of them you just follow that protocol and now you can see the late the, the now the amount which was 246,300 is now 232,600 because it is still reducing each and every minute as you are paying those bills thank you and uh, still you are welcome to, uh, to get our facebook page such in kenya instagram and we have such in kenya.com to get more tutorials. Thank you.